In this video, we're going to take a look at the D average function. The D stands for database. It works like the average function, except it lets you filter the data before you compute the average. So let's take a look at uh, our sample data here. Um, if you want to see where the sample data comes from, uh, check out the video on D sum. I copied this from the Excel help feature. So uh, we've got uh, two things here. We've got our database or table that has column headings and data down below. And then we have uh, criteria range up here. And the way the criteria range works is the same way that it works when you're doing an advanced filter. So if you're not sure how this works, uh, check out the video on advanced filtering. So before we take a look at the D average function, we're just going to go look at the regular average function. So I'm going to put uh, go off to the side here and we're just going to type average profit. And then over here, I'm going to go and I'm going to go to my home tab and go to my editing group over here and choose average. And it looks for the nearest numbers. That's obviously not what I want, but I can fix that just by dragging the mouse over the numbers I do want, which is E6 to E11. So now I have the correct argument in there for the average function, and it tells me my average profit is $84. And if I drag the mouse over these and look down here on my status bar, uh, it will give me the average of my selected cells, which is 84. So that's computing the average correctly. Now what I want is I want the average for just my apple trees. Okay, so average profit for apple trees. Okay, and I am going to right align that in its text box. And... Now we're going to use the D average function. So what I want is I want to tell Excel, look in the tree column over here, see if it says apple. If it does, add that number. And then keep on looking when you find the next apple, add that number. And when you find that one, add that number. And then divide them by how many apple trees you found. So we divide that by three. And by the way, my sum down here is 225, and the average of that is 75. So we should get $75 when we do this. So let's do the D sum function. And uh, most of our functions are usually on the formulas tab under one of these books. But the D functions are not there. So let's click on insert function. And we want D average, which is the very first one. And it wants to know where our database is. Our database is this range right here. And in the previous video, I named that tree table. Just uh, if you want to name it, just select it and type the name up here in the upper left hand corner. And the field is I can either type the word profit. I can say column five or I can actually click on the cell that has the column heading on it. Then my criteria is apple tree. And so I'm, I'm going to ignore uh, this and this and the pear tree stuff down here. I'm just going to select tree and apple. So it's telling it to look in the tree column. If it finds the word apple, go over to the profit column and use that number to compute a sum. And then when you're all done, compute the average. So let's click on OK. And now it's given me the average of my apple trees. If I want the average, let's try a couple of other conditions here. Uh, let's go and uh, edit this. Click on the little FX on the left side of the formula bar here. We still want the same tree table. We still want the same column. This time I'm going to get the apple trees that are between 10 and 16 feet. So I'm going to change my criteria here. Click on the arrow and drag your mouse all the way through everything from A1 down here to F2. And click on our arrow again and click on OK. And there's only one apple tree that's in that range. And that's this one right here. So obviously the average of 75 is 75. Now let's go in here one more time and we will make use of this second row in our criteria range here. So to do that, we need to go edit our function again. So let's click on our little insert function and it'll bring up our dialog box. And the criteria this time again is going to be changed. And I'm going to select everything from A1 down to F3 this time. So that will give me the average of my one apple tree that is between 10 and 16 feet. And there is no other criteria here for pear, so I'm going to get all the pear trees. So I'm going to get the 75, I'm going to get the 96, I'm going to get the 77, and whatever the average is when you add those up and divide by 3. So uh, let's click on OK here, and it is 82.67. So we're talking about this pear tree, and this apple tree, and uh, this pear tree. And if you scroll down here and look at the bottom, 
uh, it says the average and it just rounds it off here. It says 83, which is what this would round off to. So that's how you use the D average function. Uh, it's like the average function, except it lets you do some filtering before you apply the average.